Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel and hello anyone that is new. My name is Ellis, I am a mum of two boys. I have a three year old son called Clayton and I also have an, god, 10 month old now. He's almost 10 months old. Oh, I've only got a few more weeks of having a 10 month old. So today I am going to be showing you all my March favourites. So these are favourites that I've been building up over the last few months. I was going to do a February favourites, favourites, god that's a bit of a tongue, tongue tied to say. Um, I was going to do a February favourites video and then I decided that actually I was going to give it another month or so of using these products before I decided to share them all with you. And I have a lot of them. I have cleaning, beauty, clothing and general life home stuff as well so if you want to see what are my March favorites then just keep watching okay guys so considering you love my cleaning and things like that I'm going to jump straight in with all of my cleaning products I'm absolutely loving and the first product I'm going to show you is this now this is the Dr Beckman carpet stain remover for carpets and soft furnishes in the home and car and if any of you have been watching my clean with me videos you will know I've been using this it is almost gone I need to pick up another one. I should have picked up another one today, but I stupidly forgot. Um, and oh my golly gosh, I love it. Parker has been throwing up quite a bit recently, and this has literally done the trick at eliminating all the stains on my carpet. Our garden is also still a mud site, and yesterday Clayton decided it would be a great idea to go out in the garden when I told him not to, whilst I was upstairs for all of two minutes, put on his shoes, take a football out, and then run back in the house with muddy shoes. Well, you can imagine, oh, the look on my face when I saw mud on my cream carpet. I mean, there were no words, quite literally. <laughs> so this is what I've been using and it is literally amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. It's a couple of pounds. I picked this up in Home Bargains and literally all I do is you open the seal that's inside and then you literally scrub it on your floor. You do exactly as it says. Um, it says leave for 30 minutes, but I normally don't even find that I have to leave it for 30 minutes. The stain normally instantly comes up and if it doesn't, then I'll reapply a little while later. But I have cream carpets and I have so many of you guys asking me how I have cream carpets and how I keep them tidy with kids. This is the answer. I only found it this year. Before that, I would do carpet cleaners and things like that. This is a godsend, so quick, so easy. I would 100% recommend you buy in one of these. If you have carpet stains and you have children or pets, or even if it's just for yourself, because I spilled a glass of Rabina on the floor the other day and that came up as well. Moving on from that, and again, you would have seen this in my Clean With Me videos. I'm not gonna speak too long about it, but it is the Method Limited Edition Multi-Surface Cleaner. I love Method because they're all natural, you will know that. And it is the pink pomelo scent. Oh my goodness, this is literally on another level amazing. I cannot even begin to explain how good this is. I love it. I do think I still like my wild rhubarb just a tad bit more, but this is definitely a high second. I love this. Yeah, there's not much more I can say. Pick it up if you haven't tried it. It is gorgeous. And they also now do a hand wash in this as well. And there was something else they do. I think they do... The washing up liquid in it as well so i think i'm gonna try them as well and again another cleaning product that you know that i love to use is zoflora so my next one obviously is a zoflora item you would have probably again seen me having used this before but it is the zoflora in springtime and i find this is very apt we are going into spring and some of my favorites involve spring and honestly i absolutely love this one again i've been using this for the last couple of months even when it was winter it smells amazing. I really want to get hold of the lemon one. So if anyone knows where I can get hold of a lemon one, please tell me because I still haven't tried that and none of the shops around here seem to do it. But this is literally spring and it reminds me of like the spring cleaning smell. And you know when you just were younger and your mum used to clean and the whole house used to smell nice and oh, honestly, go smell this. And don't necessarily be put off by the smell of the bottle either because when they're diluted with the water, they smell completely differently and I realised that with the lavender one that I picked up recently. Oh my goodness, the lavender one smelled really good and I normally hate lavender, so I would definitely recommend these. And on a side note, if you've never used Zoflora before or you're looking for some new Zoflora because you've just picked up one, because I know there's been a lot of hype around them recently, then I actually have a Zoflora video which I will link for you. It has many, many ways and different ways that you can use Zoflora around the home. So I will link that for you so you can go and check that out and that will obviously help you make your house smell amazing. So my very last cleaning product that I have is this. Now I think I mentioned this, but I picked this up on my Poundland haul recently. Oh my goodness, again, I have been using this in my cleaning videos. You would have seen me use it. This is what I've been using to clean my shutters, but I imagine it would work on blinds, 
and Venetian blinds and things like that or even just trying to get into the top corners of things and go around light bulbs and light fixings this is amazing it was a pound obviously it's a microfiber duster and this has been helping me literally get my shutters nice and clean without all the hard work for a pound you can't go wrong i love the fact that it's pink and this has been a godsend when it comes to cleaning this month so this is firmly one of my favorites okay so i'm done with cleaning so i'm now going to move on to home decor items and the first home decor item that i'm going to show you is something that i made myself and i absolutely love it i have made these and if any of you have seen um my recent picture on my instagram you would have seen these already but one of my favorites stupidly is tulips and daffodils I love spring, I love spring flowers, they're so bright, they're colourful, they just make me feel so good when I have them and I love having them in and around my home as much as possible but I needed something to fit a little area in my kitchen and I couldn't find any plants or anything that was small enough to fit so I actually found these, now they initially came in a bottle that was about this big and there was one set in pink and one set in white and I picked these up from the range and what I literally did was I quite literally pulled them out and bought these which initially held candles and they were meant to be like a candle holder and as you can see they're quite small and oh my goodness I literally mixed up the colours so I bought one in pink one in white I think the flowers were like 2 or 3 99 and then these were £1.49 for the jars and now I've got little tea light candles as well and I literally put them in, cut them down and pop them in and I think they look stunning so they are really really going well in my kitchen they literally add a bit of colour to my kitchen which I love um, and I'm literally wanting to go out and buy some more so I can literally decorate them all around my home because they look so pretty I feel like all I'm doing is showing you stuff that you've already seen me and heard me talk about in my cleaning videos but another fun favourite for this month is this candle it is a paddy wax apothecary candle it is the tobacco and patchouli scent somebody said to me why do you want your home smelling of tobacco it doesn't smell of tobacco this candle smells of D&G the one men that's the only way I can describe it it smells of my husband when he smells really good bottled up in a bottle like a sexy man in a bottle oh smells really good it is i think someone actually commented in one of my videos saying that apparently tobacco is from the scent of a flower or something like that um it doesn't really say much on here but yeah it smells amazing it's got kind of like a deep sweet oh smell i just can't get over it but i love this candle i've had this burning consistently as you can probably see it's almost all gone it says that you shouldn't burn it for longer than four hours so i kind of try not to but it does smell amazing um but yeah, this candle smells so good. I love it. Paddy wax candles are amazing. I actually have another one which is like Veroli and Current or something like that. I can't really remember. But honestly, their candles are amazing. I'll link them down below in case you want to try some. But this scent, although it sounds weird, is amazing. So I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so my next favourite for you all is another smelly. And this time it is this little beauty. This again has been in my home now for the last four months. My nan actually bought this for me. We went out shopping in October last year and we went into Next and um, me and my nan both love a bit of Next <laughs> and I was going around saying that I wanted some more diffusers for the home and I smelt these because I absolutely love Next diffusers, they are amazing and my nan just buys me diffusers from Next every year and my nan picked up this one for me as a Christmas present and I was so so happy that she did. This one is called, bear with me because I've got the name of it here, it's called Vativa and Tonka Bean it lasts up to 14 weeks which would be 4 8 12 16 it'll be around four months but it's still going strong and i spilt it the other day in my hallway on my little ledge that it sits on and it's still got stuff in it and it still smells amazing granted it's not as strong as it was but oh my goodness this smells amazing if you haven't tried it go down and try it again it's sweet I can't even put my finger, I am awful at describing fragrances, but this smells amazing. If you haven't tried it, go and smell it, it is amazing. It will make your house smell amazing too. I can't put my finger on what it smells like, but the Tonka Bean, the Vativa, I don't even know what those scents are, but it does smell amazing and it looks really good as well. It's in this gold prison style bottle. Um, I did want the rose gold one, but the rose gold is like orange blossom and I don't think I was a fan of it. I liked the orange and the, the gold and the silver bottle better. But yeah, absolutely love it. And my last home decor piece that I'm absolutely loving is this behind me. Now, this is a big blanket and oh my golly gosh, I love it. I picked it up from Tesco and I think you would have seen this in one of my hauls too. It was £23. Oh my God, it is amazing. So, 
it is kind of got this waffle layer here which looks a bit like that as you can see initially i was kind of ooing and ahhing whether i wanted it as a throw for my bed but i picked up another one this now sits firmly in my living room and then on the inside it has the softest fleecy inside that you can ever imagine it is amazing i absolutely love it it keeps me so warm our doors tend to let in quite a lot of cold air especially of an evening and this keeps me so snugly and warm i love it it's surprisingly light for a blanket and it looks good on the back of the sofa and blends in perfectly with my home i love this tesco home stuff they've up their game massively recently i think i've said that before but absolutely love that blanket so the last few things that i've got to show you are clothing and kind of health and beauty related so the first thing i'm going to show you is this you may or may not have seen me wear this in a recent video. However, it is this pinafore dress. I absolutely love it. It's in this khaki green shade, which is stunning to start with. It has these really cute silver hoops and I love it. I really, really, really love pinafore dresses at the moment. Um, there's something about them. You can wear them kind of a roll up, roll neck, jumper top or not. <laughs> And they go really well into the summer with tights, without. I just love them. I think they work really, really well. It was only something like £13 or £10 or something like that. And it was from Primark, if I didn't say. And I went in there the other day and they have loads more pinafore dresses as well. So I'm definitely going to be going back to pick up some more. Because I think they're a great transition piece from winter into spring and spring into summer. And they just work really, really well. So my more lifestyle health piece I was talking about are water bottles. I know I've mentioned the Hydrate Mate bottles plenty of times before and again i know you would have seen a recent haul of me saying that i picked up some more but i am really really loving these so this one's from home bargains and they are literally 2.99 i think i bought them from metal and they're a fiver and they work really really well as well but they're literally the ones that have the spout up lid they're about 700 mils worth of water and they have the refill marks on them i'm sure you've all seen them before i'm not going to go into it i'm trying to up my water intake these are perfect i love them good for on the go Stops any leakages when I'm in and around the home, when the boys are running around because Parker is everywhere now and damaging everything. Um, but yeah, I love these bottles. So I definitely recommend Home Bargains for cheap water bottles. So another one of my favourites is this stunning necklace. I don't know how well you can see it and I will try and get a close up for you. But it's a stunning necklace. It's in rose gold and it's in rose gold and then silver. And it has the boys' names on it. I absolutely love it. I've wanted this for ages and now I've got the boys... I wanted it even more so. I love the colour combinations of the rose gold and silver together. And I am absolutely loving it. Her prices were so reasonable. I think this necklace was around £21 or £23. Which is so cheap for a necklace. But the necklace is such good quality. And I really do love it. So if you are looking for a present for somebody. And you don't want to break the bank. I would definitely recommend one of these. I'm not normally a big necklace person. I still have jewellery that my husband got me for our wedding. And stuff like that that I don't wear. Um, because I'm just not normally one of those people. But I really like this. But I would definitely recommend. Um, if you're looking for a really nice gift. Either for yourself or a sentimental gift for somebody else. Then I would definitely recommend these. And another favourite that I have. Is also another Mother's Day present. Again I have wanted this for such a long time. But I've always begrudged spending so much money on a mug. But it is the Emma Bridgewater mug. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. It is, you've probably seen it everywhere. Um, it's quite a normal and conventional mug, but I love it. It seems to kind of fit in the palm of your hands really nicely. It obviously says mummy on it. It is made out of really, really good quality. I love the shape, the style, the colours. Oh, I just love it. It was a perfect Mother's Day present. And um, yeah, I love this. And again, this was like 19 or 20 pounds, I think. So again, if you're looking for a present for somebody, a new mum to be or something like that, this would be a great gift. And now I have four beauty related products. So the first one that I have is this. This is the Clarins Instant Like Lip Comfort Oil. In the winter, my lips get super, super dry. And I purchased this last year. Didn't really use it much towards the end of the year and the middle of the year onwards. And then recently found it again when my lips were getting super dry in the winter. I absolutely love it. It has a tint to it. It's in a raspberry flavouring. It looks like this. It's really diddy and small, as you can see. It's really tiny, but it's an oil. And it literally, it just goes across my lips so smoothly. It's not overly sticky either, but it's enough of a stickness to kind of re-moisturise my lips. And what I will normally do is I'll normally moisturise my face and then pop this on before I do my makeup. And then it's kind of hydrating my lips for the rest of the day. 
and then I'll put on a lip gloss or sometimes I just wear this alone because it has a tint in it but it's really really good and like I said it's from Clarins in the raspberry and um, yeah I love it they have three I think they have raspberry strawberry and a honey um, I'm not a big fan of honey but yeah that's that the next thing that I'm loving is this and it's an untangled leave-in conditioner detangler. It quite literally does exactly what it says. You spray it into your hair, it's a leave-in conditioner but it detangles your hair. And now that I've gone back blonde again, um, as you can probably see I'm quite blonde but ignore the roots. <laughs> um, my hair is getting so knotty after I have a shower and after I've washed it. So I need a detangler in my hair and I tried this one in the salon that I go to and I picked this up again. It must have been about three or four months ago now because I really really needed it and I've loved it since I've been using it. It is a Kevin Murphy, so I don't know if you've heard of him, but they are the products that my salon uses. It's a Kevin Murphy detangler and there's not much I can say. It smells good, it feels really lightweight, it doesn't tend to make my hair overly greasy or oily, which is one of my biggest bugbears when it comes to using hair products. And I love it, so I would definitely recommend picking up one of these if you have a stockist near you, because it is great. So I'm almost coming to the end. So my next beauty product that I have is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I think that's what it's called. Um, I am a massive, massive, massive fan of Benefit Mascaras. I every now and then swap up and use something if I get something included in a gift pack or a gift set or something like that. Um, I've used Chanel, I've used MAC, I've used Dior, I've used YSL. I have used so many different mascaras over the time and I always find that no matter what mascara it is that Benefit brings out, I love it. I have the one that comes in the silver packaging, I think it's called, oh, I think it might just be called That's Real. And then I have the roller lash one which is the one that comes in the black with a pink lid. And they have recently brought out this one and I really, really like it. I love the brush. I love the style of the brush. It seems to really apply well. It applies quite a bit though, which is my only bugbear with it at the moment. It seems to kind of get a lot of it around my eyes, which is quite annoying. And I find that it transfers quite easily. Other than that, I mean, it really is good at making my lashes really long, really defined. I'm really loving this one. It looks like this for any of you that haven't seen it. And it's literally their newest one out. And I think I remember seeing the birch boxes doing a sample in their March box. I could be wrong, I don't get birch, um, birch boxes delivered, but yes, I'm pretty sure I saw a trial sample of those, so that might be worthwhile if any of you are thinking of trying it, but don't want to spell the full amount on it, one of those might be a good idea. And my very last item is this, it is a tiny Tesla bottle of the foundation that I want to buy, however it's not in my shade. Um, I think it's a little bit too dark for what I need at the moment, but I'm still using it. I've got it on today and it's a foundation. It is the Urban Decay Naked All Nighter Foundation, which I believe is the one that has a slightly thicker coverage than the one, maybe it's just the Naked one. I've never tried either and I went in the other day and we was in Cardiff, we was in a massive rush, so I couldn't try them on, but I decided to pick up a little sample in the shade that I thought I would be. And I love it, it applies so smoothly onto my skin and it gives me a really, really good coverage and I find it more dewy. I am a firm favourite of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have used it for years and years and years and it is always a firm favourite for me. But I thought I would try this and to be honest, I really, really like it. I'm going to be going back soon and picking up another pot in a different shade to try that and get them to actually face match it this time because hopefully I'll have a bit more time when I go back. But I would definitely recommend this foundation. I love it. It seems to give me so much coverage, glowy, complexion. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a new foundation and you use Estee Lauder Double Wear, it's the all-nighter one that you need, which gives the same sort of level of coverage, not the other one. So definitely go out and pick up one of these. Well, guys, they are all my favourites for March. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I have quite a big variety there and the majority of the products you would have probably seen, but the reason why you've seen them is because I absolutely love them. Um, I, I have just literally been loving all of these products in my home recently and been using them. So I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for any of these sort of items, go and pick them up. None of them are overly expensive and they are all amazing. If you guys have liked this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe as I have lots more videos coming up on cleaning, hauls, lifestyle, routines, motherhood, parenting. Hopefully some travel ones coming up soon because I'm going on holiday soon. So if you do like those, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all again for another video shortly. Bye guys.